who we will discuss about genetic use restriction technology or terminator gene technology so in terminator gene technology we do genetic modification of plant to make them to produce sterile seed in second generation and it is famous as suicide seed so terminator will alter the expression of certain gene in plant thus plant will terminate their reproductive switch about the embryo and make them sterile so such plant then produce seed but they will not germinate in second generation and this technology was patented by us department of agriculture and seed company delta and pine land while during 2002 Monsanto then acquired Delta and Pine Land and it was described as gene protection technology by Monsanto. Actually there are two types of genetic use restriction technology. First is trait based technology. It will regulate the expression of a particular trait whereas variety based technology or we will restrict the use of an entire variety by blocking its reproduction. So variety based technology also known as suicide or sterile seed and gene technology or terminator technology and it is designed to control plant fertility or seed development through a genetic process that is triggered by a chemical inducer that will allow the plant to grow and to form seed but it will cause the embryo of each of those seed to produce a cell toxin and the cell toxin then prevent its germination if replanted so they will cause seed to be sterile and allowing manufacturer to maintain their intellectual property rights and avoid concern that are related to genetically modified seed dispersal whereas in trait based technology This technology modify crop in such a way that the genetic enhancement engineered into the crop does not function until the crop plant is treated with a chemical that is sold by the biotechnology company so farmer then can save the seed for use each year however they do not get to use the enhanced trait in the crop unless they purchase the activator compound from the company So this technology is restricted at the trait level. So in terminator technology, first you can see here is our mature complete plant. Upon cross pollination, it will produce fertile seed, and then fertile seed, if planted, they will result in complete mature plant. Whereas in terminator gene technology, it control plant gene expression. that is based on a gene that produces a toxic protein to the plant thus preventing the seed to germinate so one of the gene that mentioned in the patent is ribosomal inactivation protein and it is present in plant and animal so ribosomal inactivation gene then isolated and introduced into foreign or related crop species to repress the protein synthesis now let's see what is the molecular mechanism behind this terminator technology first is production of repressor molecule so a late amelogenesis abundant promoter is introduced to control the expression of the repressor gene so it will result in production of repressor molecule then this repressor molecule will attach at the operator site that is contained in the promoter region so it will prevent the transcription of the recombinase gene so no production of recombinase gene so finally expression of lethal gene is prevented and next if external inducer is added then external inducer will bind to the repressor and it will change the repressor and the change repressor will not bind to the operator region and the expression of recombinase gene will occur and then recombinase gene will cut out the blocker spacer and expression of target gene take place and it will result 
introduction of toxic protein and it will kill embryo of the seed. Let's see how do genetic use restriction technology work. So here you can see a repressor gene which encodes a particular protein and the recombinase gene which expression is blocked by this particular protein. So this gene is interrupted by a blocker and no toxic or lethal protein will be formed whereas external inducer here is provided by the seed company before selling to the customer. This treatment will stop the production of the protein that is coded by the repressor gene and the recombinase is produced. Recombinase prevent the action of the spacer DNA and thus allow expression of the terminator gene and it will kill the embryo of the seed. So seed will not germinate in next generation. Now let's see what are the advantages of terminator technology. So it prevents escape of transgene into wild relatives and farmers can get maximum production due to use of new seed every year and this technology will induce private sector to make investment in research and development of pure line varieties and open pollinated so in this variety the farmer do not change the seed each year and it can be used to limit the spread of gene from GMOs to other plant in natural environment whereas its drawback is harvested seeds are used only for consumption and it may cause health problems because it has been treated with some chemicals before sowing and location specific and season bound varieties cannot be grown and tetracycline is used to activate the toxic gene so it may alter the soil fauna and flora and this plant can transfer pollen grain to our wild relatives and cause sterility in their seed. So it's all about today's lecture.